Uh, morning guys, uh, we're just going to run through the operation of a VF2A transfer case engagement motor for the four-wheel drive. It's, this one's as part of a, a, of a bigger loom, so uh, the components are more important than the actual wiring. What I've got over here, on your gear stick normally you've got a, a push button. It just runs to earth, so I've just wired up manually and I've put a little light on for the four-wheel drive. We've got the control box. We've got the engagement motor, we've got the four-wheel drive switch, which um, the one on the motor is not going to work because the shaft, the, the, the engagement uh, unit is on the shaft, and we've got these two little plugs which are normally on the transfer. So what we've got, we've got the motor over here, and I'm just going to flick the switch uh, on and off, and we can see the motor moving, so that's perfect. We can hear a bit of a click coming from the control module. And that's working. I'm just going to check the light works. So I'm just going to engage the button, and the light is working, so that's good. I'm just going to flick the uh, switch to the off position, so technically the four-wheel drive's off now. And on top of the the transfer, there's there's either one or two uh, of these plugs. Now uh, this one, that's a neutral plug. Um, it's normally found on the auto box, on uh, auto transfers, but and used for other other purposes. But this one is the the override for the button, so when you select it into the low box, um, it overrides the, the switch and automatically engages four-wheel drive, so you don't have a two-wheel drive low. If it's left unplugged, to put in four-wheel drive, you do have to push the button, otherwise when we, uh, we'll short this one out, we'll just bridge it like this. And here we go. That's the motor going. So it's the whole system. It all plugs in, nice and simple. On and there's the light. Perfect. Thank you.